The Xeon Weibo 3 is the latest addition to a new generation of gimbals that doesn't only stabilize cameras, but also offers other features and functions like a built-in light and microphone. At first glance it looks like an average, medium-sized single grip gimbal and not like it's part of the Weibo series, which is known for having a sling design. In fact, version 3 is a complete redesign with a sling grip that can be attached on the bottom side and a wrist rest as well. The previous version also had a flip out screen that has been removed. Now there's a small OLED screen that shows the menu, settings and different modes. Cameras can be mounted onto a regular long QR plate that can slide forwards and backwards, but also onto a small one on top. The advantage of the small quick release plate is that the camera can be removed quickly and put on later without needing to rebalance the axis. All three axes can be locked with a dedicated switch. This is essential to avoid damage and is useful when carrying the powered off gimbal with the camera attached between shots. There are multiple ways to use the Weibo 3. The most common one would be to attach the included mini tripod at the bottom and hold it with one hand, while the other hand is holding the grip further up. This makes sense when walking and capturing a scene on eye level. The new and unique way is to attach the handle, or how Xion calls it, sling grip. On the left and right side of the button of the grip is a screw hole. The sling grip, which looks like a tripod arm, can be mounted on either side. It can also be extended to a maximum length of 25 cm. The plate to rest the hand or wrist can also be screwed on, but only onto the right side. The angle can be adjusted as well, depending on how the gimbal is being held. This setup is great for filming at a low angle or inverted. The heavier the camera and lens are, the more the attached sling grip helps. The mode button and joystick as well as a record button are placed separately on the upper left side of the grip. In the beginning it took me a while to get used to the position of the joystick because most gimbals have it placed right in the middle of the grip rather than on the side. On the back side of the grip is a wheel that can be customized with different functions. Besides another button to access the menu for general settings, the Weibo 3 also has a built-in LED light that can be turned on by long pressing the wheel on the right side of the grip. The color temperature goes from 2600K to 5500K and can be changed by turning the wheel. The brightness intensity can also be changed in 10 steps from minimum to a maximum of 1000 lumen. This feature was originally introduced in the Crane M3 and is good for indoor or outdoor walk and talk shots in low light surrounding and works best in close distance shots. The Weibo 3 also has a built-in microphone below the light and a 3.5mm audio port. For full control of all features, the gimbal and camera can be connected with a ZY Play app. If you want to attach an external monitor with a magic arm, either the handrest or the sling grip needs to be removed because there aren't any other screw mounts on the gimbal. Which one to remove is hard to say because it all depends on your own habits and shooting style. If you are using a rather lightweight camera setup, I would suggest to remove the sling grip. Having the rest for the wrist is certainly comfortable when doing a lot of low angle or inverse shots. When it comes to battery life, Xiyun claims up to 21 hours of use from a single charge. The Weibo 3 has a USB-C connection that is located at the bottom front of the grip and can be charged and powered with a PD power bank. While the latest generation of the Weibo certainly has some big features like microphone and light, 
I personally think that the two-way design with attachable accessories is what makes this gimbal stand out. While this could seem like a downgrade from the previous model, in real-world use the Weeble 3 has a lot of advantages with the one-hand setup and the sling grip. The build quality of the axis and grip is robust and the buttons and wheels feel solid. The quick release system of the camera plate is also useful to save time. While testing the gimbal over the past 4 weeks, I didn't have any issues getting smooth and steady shots.